So now that you know how to do text crawls and rolls and to use the text editor, let's go in and add some additional tools and effects and create a traditional Star Wars type credit roll. Okay, that's the one where it starts close to you and then goes out to space. So we're gonna have a lot of fun doing that. So the first thing that I want you to do is under your training content, I want you to look for the HD stars and drag it onto uh, one of the lower tracks, okay? Now this happens to be a moving star field, which is not what I want. I really want the text to be the star of this scene and not be distracted by this background. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a still out of it. How do I do that? Snapshot, right here. Click on it and let's go ahead and drag this down to my timeline, make it nice and long, and let's get rid of this one because this is the motion one. I wanna use just the still as my background, okay? So now that I've got my still as my background, I'm gonna click on the top track and click on text because I wanna create a text roll with the Star Wars text, which by the way, I went onto the internet found the original credit roll text, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it right in here by doing a control V. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, select all of it. Actually, let's, let's make it real big, because what I want then is when I tip it back using a DVE, it'll actually have a lot more time to read the word. So let's make it nice and big. We're gonna go under motions, emphasis, do a roll up, right? Let's go ahead and grab these edges just a little bit. Okay, see how this looks? So we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna have some fun with this. Stretch this out. And let's see how slow this is. To me, this is a little too fast, so we're gonna make this a lot longer. Make our star field even longer. Still too quick. Make it longer. Here we go. Very cool. I want to get into my effects editor. So if I double click on it like I do most other graphics to get into my corrections and effects editor, in this case, since it's a title, it's going to think that I want to drop it into the title editor. So remember, you can use titles in with all the effects, but you have to right click on it and say open an effects editor. That's the only way to get to it. So let's open an effects editor. Under the effects tab, we're going to go into 2D, 3D. I'm going to turn off solo so I can see my star field in the background. We're going to go into 3D editor. Go with no preset. Go into rotation. And we're going to rotate X. And you can see where I'm going with this, okay? And the other thing that we're going to do, we're going to take the height and stretch it way out. Turn off the lock aspect ratio, which would make the width and the height the same. On the height, I'm gonna stretch that out, okay? And that also kind of gives us that cool look of right here. Now let's see how far out that goes. That's pretty cool. We're gonna push it back there a little bit by changing my position. Stretch it out a little bit more. And see how fun this is, right guys? Isn't this cool? Good. Bring this up a little bit, stretch it some more. Good. This is your particular taste, but this is tipping it back, and now we can see how this looks. So let's go ahead and hit play. Spacebar. And you can see it's over to the left a little bit. So let's recenter that. Double click on that, and that's recentered now. Let's go ahead and hit play. Pretty cool. If I remember my Star Wars episodes correctly, that text was in yellow. So you know what? Let's go in and change that. Now that our DVE setup is proper, hit OK. And now I can go in and change the text color to yellow by double clicking on the clip. It's as simple as going over here, hitting Control A, 
And we're going to go into our face. We're going to go get a nice yellow that's got a little bit of orange in it and red. See how that looks. It's kind of a dark yellow if I remember right. So let's go about like that. Let's hit apply and let's hit OK. And that's pretty darn close to what it originally was. That's pretty good. So once again, it's doing a lot of stuff here. So it needs to render, okay? We won't wait for the whole thing to render, but let's hit play. Once it's done rendering, it'll play back without dropping any frames. So let's hit play. Yeah, that's pretty darn cool. So that's how you do a Star Wars credit roll.